China. Over the years, several presidents have faced this problem. In 2016, the Obama administration set aside $1 billion to address the drug epidemic, which included heroin and opioids. In 2018, the Trump administration dedicated $6 billion to the fight against opioids. And this year, the Biden administration has put $4 billion toward combating overdose deaths. What event made Olympics history in 1968? The first Special Olympics, the first United Korean team, the African nation's boycott, or volleyball's Olympic debut. In 1968, the first Special Olympics was held at Soldier Field in Chicago, Illinois. About a thousand athletes took part in those games, according to Encyclopedia Britannica. They were all from the... Construct a decorative frame to match your style. I wanted to give it a slightly antique look to strike a contrast with the relatively modern concept of a smart mirror. So I used some door trims that were left over after I had replaced the slab doors with uh, some six panel doors in my house. The dimensions were based on the space available on the wall, the size of the computer screen I had, and the cost of the two-way mirror I had the budget for. Assemble the sides of the frame. I used some inexpensive two and a half inch furring strips. Secure the front of the frame to the sides using some wood glue and let it dry for a couple of hours. Once dry, it is ready for sanding and color. I stained the frame in cherry brown. Drill some holes on the top and bottom sides of the frame for ventilation. The compute module is going to run 24-7, so a bit of air circulation helps. Remove the plastic frame around the monitor to expose the bare screen and the electronics. My monitor had a silver border, so I covered it up with some black tape to avoid possible light reflection. Install a two-way mirror. Take a moment to identify the side with the coating and keep it facing towards the back side of the mirror. This will prevent any damage to the special coating during the normal cleaning and daily use of the mirror. Install and secure the monitor. Measure and cut a piece of black foam board to cover the area of the frame outside the monitor. This is again to avoid reflections. 
I went for a 3mm pre-built two-way mirror but it has a slight funhouse mirror effect. I will probably select a different vendor if I were to do it next time or maybe make my own. There is also an option to build one from scratch with acrylic or glass and a reflective window tint. I put some furring strips around the border to ensure that the monitor is level and won't drop out of the frame. A bit about the two-way mirrors. Like all mirrors, these mirrors have a reflective coating. However, while the reflective coating on the regular mirrors is dense and returns all the light that strikes its surface, the reflective coating on a two-way mirror is more sparse. This means that it reflects about half the light that hits its surface and allows the other half to pass through to the other side. If the light intensity is the same on both sides of the glass, the mirror will look like a normal piece of glass. But when the light is bright on one side and much darker on the other, the glass will look like a mirror to the people on the brighter side. The next step is to install the electronics. Drill a hole on the side to route the AC power to the mirror. I drilled mine at a location which will be closest to the power outlet once I hang the mirror on the wall. The power will go to the monitor and to the power adapter for the Raspberry Pi module. I also installed a camera for facial recognition, a microphone to receive voice commands, a motion sensor to save power and speakers for an audio output from the mirror. Once everything is in place, install the Magic Mirror software and configure it to your liking. The link to the complete project log is in the description. That's all for now. Happy making!